Hello everyone, this is Kirti Malik and I welcome you back to CUET Mock. In the last video, we have understood everything about CUET. That what it is, how to prepare for CUET and today we are going to discuss specifically about the subjects which are required to be prepared. So guys, the subjects for CUET have been classified into three broad heads. First would be your language, language test. Second would be your domain subjects and third is your general test which is common for all the streams. Now if we'll talk about the language test. This portion is further divided into two sections. Section 1A and Section 1B. In Section 1A there are 13 languages in this section and in Section 1B there are 19 languages in the section. And all the languages, 13 languages in section 1A and 19 languages in section 1B. I am providing you the list in the description below. So now if we will talk about the duration of the examination. It will be of 45 minutes time. There will be 50 questions out of which you have to attempt only 40 questions. Each question will be carrying 5 marks. And please remember there is a negative marking of one mark for each wrong answer. Thus a candidate can score a maximum of 200 marks in this uh, particular test. Now language to be tested through reading comprehension that is based on different type of passages, factual, literary and narrative. So literary aptitude and vocabulary would be there. And every question will be mcq based so don't worry about that now let's talk about section 2 which is domain subjects there are 27 domain specific subjects on which examination will be conducted by the nta so these subjects are again provided below in the description again this test will be of 45 minutes duration there will be 50 questions out of which you have to attempt 40 questions in some subjects like mathematics or applied mathematics, there will be two sections, section A and section B. In this, section B is further divided or subdivided into section B1 and B2. Section A of mathematics will have 15 questions covering both mathematics and applied mathematics in which all the questions are compulsory. In section A, you have to answer all the questions. There is no choice in between mathematics and applied mathematics. And uh, the students can choose either B1 or B2. So section B1 will have 35 questions from mathematics out of which 25 questions need to be attempted. And in section B2, there will be uh, 35 questions purely from applied mathematics out of which 25 questions need to be attempted and each question here again will be carrying five marks and the negative marking of one mark each wrong answer thus a candidate can score maximum of 200 marks in this particular test so syllabus of each subject i am providing you here in the description or you can find the link to our website which is cuetmock.com just need to head to the website and check what all sort of questions are going to be there in your CUET test. So students are advised to read the syllabus very carefully along with the important questions given in the mock test. Now guys let's talk about section 3 which is the general test. So general test it's a quite different from the other two sections. It will be of 60 minutes duration. And there will be 75 questions out of which you have to attempt 60 questions. Each question will be carrying 5 marks and there is again a negative marking of 1 mark each for each wrong answer. Thus a candidate can score a maximum of 300 marks in this test. This test will consist of questions on uh, general knowledge, general uh, reasoning, current affairs, general uh, mental ability, numerical ability, quantitative reasoning which is simple application of uh, basic mathematical concepts like arithmetic, algebra, geometry, mensuration, stats 
and of course logical and analytical reasoning would be the part of your general test so these all are the parts you need to prepare through for the entire gt which is general test now guys the question is how an aspirant is going to choose a particular subject for testing in this regard and it is really important to note that the choice of the subject will depend upon the target university and the course which is candidate aspiring for okay so there are different criteria of different universities for different undergraduate courses and the university may prepare a merit list for a particular course on the basis of a set of subjects which may be different from the other university now guys uh, we definitely would like to talk about the slots so the exam will be conducted in two or more slots on different dates depending on your subjects and test taken by you so in slot 1 which will be held in the morning shift morning shift that is 9 am to 12 15 pm so in the morning shift a candidate may take up to four test only yes one will be your one language from section 1a second is maximum of two domain specific subjects from section 2 and third would be one general test so two in your domain specific one in your language and one in your general test so maximum up to four test only you can take in slot 1 in the slot 2 which will be held in the afternoon shift which is uh, from 3 pm to 6:45 pm okay so in the afternoon shift the candidate can take up to five test as follows which is uh, one language from section 1a and 1b or two in case students opt for maximum three languages in the subject maximum of four domain specific subjects from section 2 and maximum of three in case students choose three languages subjects instead of two and it is again reiterated that an aspirant can only take maximum of nine tests in both the slots slot 1 and slot 2 so that was it about the video today just need to ensure that you are practicing enough of your mock test papers because these all are the subjects and kind of questions which are going to come up in your upcoming attempt so just head to cuetmock.com write your free exams pre mock test and practice as much as you can rather than looking for the entire syllabus in one go right i wish you very all the best and i'll see you in the next video with some sort of uh, more questions and examples which can be there in your examination